In honor of Juneteenth this weekend, Newark Mayor Raz Baraka announced the winning design of a new monument honoring Harriet Tubman that will stand in downtown Washington Park and replace the Christopher Columbus statue removed last June. The city also plans to rename the park Tubman Square in 2022 when the monument is installed. Much further south in Cape May, the Harriet Tubman Museum officially opens this weekend, celebrating her life, role in the Underground Railroad, and activism in Cape May. Melissa Rose Cooper is there for a preview and has more on the significance of the grand opening. Melissa. Brianna, it's been a long time coming, but the wait is finally over. The Harriet Tubman Museum here in Cape May is finally opening its doors tomorrow, and it couldn't be a more fitting situation than to do it on Juneteenth. Well, as you know, Juneteenth means so much to us being black and how I think it was 1863 that the emancipation was signed and things really didn't kick in until 1865. So it's very important that we remember this date. Important to remember a history Harriet Tubman helped to create. The abolitionist who was born into slavery managed to escape, eventually leading dozens of others to freedom. The museum now sharing her story in one of the places on her journey. It really is showing about Cape May's role in the Underground Railroad and places that Harriet Tubman stopped along the way, being able to explain to younger people exactly how Cape May was. And just letting everybody know that she came through Cape May. She did do work here, back and forth, from Cape May to Philadelphia, raising money to be able to go back to bring more slaves up and head them on up north to Canada. It was basically her goal from where she was trying to get to. The museum was originally slated to open last year on Juneteenth, but because of the pandemic, the opening had to be put on hold. Well, it was very disappointing to have to stop, but really was out of our control because everything stopped. But with this weekend's official opening, visitors will be able to stop by for a personal lesson in history. We take them from room to room to show them exactly where things started in Cape May. We started out with the, what we call here is the African room. Here gives the, basically the New Jersey co connection uh, to the Underground Railroad. Here we have a, one bus made by a female artist. We have a, another large bus, which is absolutely unbelievable. You can look at it on TV in pictures, but the detail of it is just unbelievable. Something that you really have to see with the human eye. And even though the museum's opening had to be delayed, trustees say they're just happy they can finally share a piece of history with everyone in the community. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.